Hi, so this is going to be the last video I'm filming tonight in this outfit, so you won't have to see any more videos in this outfit, and it's probably going to last a whole week of the same clothes, but yeah, they was all recorded in the same night. So, I'm going to do a tag, because I've done, like, you know, two few videos previous to this, one fashion-y video, although it's a very pointless one, um, and now I'm going to do a tag, and it's the things you don't know about me. Okay, so one thing I should have put in my get-to-know-me tag, but I forgot, um, of a hidden talent. Now this is not really a talent, but I can actually speak a bit of French. Now I'm not fluent, I'm probably the worst in my whole entire class, and when the teacher asks me a question, I'm usually like, uh, uh, for a few minutes before I can even, um, or a few seconds before I can even answer. Um, but the only bit I do remember and can speak absolutely fluently was my bit for my GCSE speaking, and it goes something like this. Maybe if any of you from France you might understand what I said, but it's about my work experience that I did, so it goes. Je fais mon stage pour une semaine pour un magazine et une semaine dans un cabinet de avocat. Je voyage en train parce que je travaille à Londres. Je suis arrivé à 9h et je rentre à 5h. Tous ces matins, je me réveille à 7h et après mes douche, je mange le petit déjeuner. Je mange le déjeuner avec ma colleague au café. Um, je faisais du sondage en Oxford Street. Et j'ai organisé du magasin et j'ai fait ça du photocopie. C'était super et je vais travailler un magazine au futur. Now I don't really know very much French, but that's the only bit I can really remember like proper fluently for. And that was what I did probably last um like months and months and months ago. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I just know things like um. Sur ce jour, j'ai Fais sound ma messe du voix, j'ai écouté de la musique, which I think should be I do my homework whilst listening to music. Anyway, so that's one fact about me. I can kind of speak a bit of French, but I'm not very good at it. But the second thing is um, tea. I love drinking tea. It's probably like definitely one of my favourite, favourite drinks ever. And I drink tea every day for breakfast, for when I get home from school, and usually as like before I go to bed. Um, so yeah, I love tea and I make it. Um, two sugars, a tea bag, then I boil the kettle, pour the water in, stir it around, like put it up the side about um, eight times or something, put it in the bin, then I stir it, put milk in, stir it. And it's kind of what I know the exact measurements I like to do to make it taste nice every time, but it always kind of ends up spilling just a little bit over the edge. Like, you know, when there's like a rim mark on when you pick it up and you have to wipe that because my mum gets in the way and she's like, Oh, don't do that, but that's the way that it kind of, I can make it nice. Next thing is my favourite place in the world is, well, Florida's my favourite place I've ever been on holiday. It's just the happiest place in the world to me. The most, like, um, picturesque, like, beautiful place I've ever been on holiday is Barbados. Um, just because it's just, it's probably the place I've been most, but it's just, it's, it's just amazing. It's the most, like, beautiful place ever, and... The sea is so hot, you swim in it, it's never cold, and it's just like, it's true, like you would not believe you're in only nine hours away from England, it's just, um, like, incredible. Um, but my favourite place in the world is London, and I know I probably could have chosen any place, but, um, yeah, London's just my favourite. When I'm older, I really want to move there, I know it's expensive, but, you know, I would live in a flat, like a studio flat, if it meant again to live in London because I know when I'm there it's kind of like it's just so inspirational like it makes you think that you can actually you know like have a great life and like that you can do stuff like but where I live is kind of it's not a bad area but it's more depressing it's like I don't know it just it feels like if I stayed where I am that um I probably wouldn't achieve that much in the future but I just really want to move to London and, you know, I want to go to university there and get a job. I want to work in, like, the beauty department of a magazine or something. You know, it just, um, it's just I love London. Like, I love just walking along, just going everywhere. I could go there on my own. It's one of the one places I could go on my own and not worry about running into people. It's just, I don't know, it's just my favourite, favourite place. Okay, number four is I collect magazines. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of my magazine collection. And this was taken like a year ago, so it's probably doubled since then. Okay, so that is my magazine collection. I get Elle, Vogue and Glamour every single month. Occasionally I get Marie Claire in style, 
when it's someone good on the cover. Um, but it's not like an, a necessity. And I used to buy Teen Vogue, but I did stop because I was like, if I'm into Vogue, then I don't really need Teen Vogue too. But um, it's still I love the magazine and sometimes I buy it. Um, yeah, so that's just something I like to collect. I couldn't really remember, think of another fact. So I guess I'll just do my dream job. It would be to work um, in kind of like the beauty department of the magazine, like Elle or Vogue, um, Glam Marie Claire and Star, like any of the magazines. I just want to work in beauty department of the magazine. I just love makeup and all these beauty things, these health things. Like, and um, that would be my favorite place to work. Um, and then things apart from that, obviously, like being a makeup artist would be fun. Being a beautician would be fun, but. A beautician, I don't really see how I can make much money out of it, so I probably won't do it. I mean, I'm all for doing the things that you would love to do than would earn you money, but I do kind of, like, want a career with money. Um, and I know that in magazines there's not loads of it, but it's just that it's something I've wanted to do for ages now. Um, another thing that I think interests me would be probably going to, like, beauty PR or something like that. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. Or, like, buying for somewhere, like being a buying director or something. Um, but the one thing I've always said I'd like to do that's totally not to do this would be to set up a bakery shop. Um, and I would probably call it La Petite Boulangerie, which is the little bakery. Um, I hope I got that right. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to do that. And I would sell cupcakes and biscuits and cookies and shortbreads, like everything like that. Um, you know, that'd just be really great. I just thought two more things I could do. I'm going to make it in the seven tags thing. Um, okay. Um, I really want to go paragliding. I mentioned this in my Get to Know Me tag, but it's where you go up to the top of like a mountain thing with like obviously an instructor and then you get this little hang glide thing and you hold on to it, you run off the edge and then jump and then you kind of glide through the air. I've always thought it'd be so fun to fly and to be a bird and that's just something I really like to do. Um, and then the one other thing I can... Well, I've just thought of was if I could go back to any kind of time in um, the past I think it would have been fun to have been around the age I am now in the 50s so it would have been good to be maybe born in like 1941 and so then by the time you was 15 it'd be like 55 um, and then by the time I was 20 it'd be going to the 60s yeah I wish I would have been well I don't wish I like being born now but like it would have been fun to have been born in 1941 because then by the time I was the age I'm now, which is 16. It would have been in, you know, middle of the 50s, going to the 60s, when it's like, I think that, I think that the ages, um, 19 to 24, are just really fun. I know that every age is fun, but I just think that it would be fun to have lived, in, you know, end of the 60s, begin, end of the 50s, beginning of the 60s. I love how they had all, like, the American diners and, um, the big, like, dresses and everyday people didn't just dress in casual t-shirts, dreams and trainers and people dressed nicely and elegantly and they did their hair and they did their makeup and and the music from the time all the like it's just so uh, lively you know um and just like the parties how they used to dance like you know just I think that whole time is really interesting how all the movies all the people like Audrey Hepburn you had like classic um people like that you know I just think that's really fun so yeah if anyone wants to do this tag um yeah, um, I think you'd do it. Um, it's really fun. So, yeah, bye.